Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Yeah, maybe the drain in power, that'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. Right, look, so not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. Well. Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song, one only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? No, looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer, and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boy's needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Odd man out, dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. Yeah, don't you? Or guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. 
Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked, whichever. Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Those machines, Sinclair's little gifts, lasted longer than he did. If you need food, stick. Let's head through the. Of course, it was getting too quiet. Make sure he's dead. Oh, you sure came a long way to rob this place. I guess greed is involved. Of course, it was getting too quiet. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar.
next? Ah, aren't the trees lovely this time of year? Time to cash this one out. Just to mind your own business. I am all about keeping low in this section of town. So let's see about creeping by the locals, all right? Andre is playing tricks on me. Whoever it is, they're gone. Great. Spilling my guts out to him. Better make sure he's dead. I'm bleeding green here. Any ideas? Better make sure he's dead. Poke him with a stick or something. Time to cash this one out. Better make sure he's dead. Poke him with a stick or something. Believe. Sp 
springs. Marcus Wright, think the roost we're looking for is to the southeast. You're at the Ghoul's Gala area. Now make so, him stay. This is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks? Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? Yes, Safely? What? After your sweet and ruthless talk when we first met, now you care about my safety. Right. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? Uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Take? It's not going to take anything, because you couldn't offer me anything to stay here. The ghost people will come out of the woodwork when the gala event starts blaring, and when they see me trapped up here, it's curtains for Dean. Really? That wasn't the we're both bomb married talk you gave me when we first met. Look, you could offer me a steel-clad contract for a world tour of all major cities with Imperial records. I still wouldn't stay here. No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. Well, yeah. If the hologram system still work, that'd do the trick. Okay, all right. You call up some of those old world stiffs. That'd be an audience I wouldn't mind having below. If I remember correctly, there should be two holograms you can switch on in the area. Just don't remember how. Do that, and I'll consider waiting on the rooftop. Maybe. Sierra Madre may wait, not me.
sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. Where there's a bear trap, ghost people aren't far behind. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar. Now, if it isn't my ball, you powered the holograms up. Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. You got a point. All right, look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't.